Hi guys, in this video I'll be talking about my Walkera V450D03 uh, I've talked about this before in another video about the Emacs servo Now here is an update after one year Let's get the canopy off You can see that there's a lot of better scars on this Yeah, sadly I crashed a lot of times Lost how many times I crashed yeah, quite bad, but oh well, still usable. Okay, so the servos, yep. I have been using these servos for what, probably a year, I think. Yeah, probably already one year. I crashed quite a number of times, and the servos are still holding up pretty well. For free play, not, yeah, it's obviously a slight amount of free play. Now the thing is powered off, but yeah, you can just look at it. Yeah, all. All three servos had developed that very slight free play, but it, in my experience, it does not affect flight that much negatively. I mean, I don't really feel this. It's something to take note. Of course, these servos can't last forever, but yep, not bad. Also, I changed the, the receiver slash gyro to the RX2702 dash D. I think this one is from a V500. This one was donated to me. Thank you to the kind donator. Yeah, the difference between this and the original 2703 is this is a 3G, 3G gyro. The other one is a 6G gyro. So the 2703 is much more stable than this. But in terms of sports flying and uh, sports flying doing stunts, tricks, TikToks, etc. I find I prefer the 3G gyro even though it's less stable. It, uh, when flying with the 2703, when doing TikToks for example, I feel like I'm fighting the gyro. But not with this. This one performs quite similar to other 3G gyros in the market, I guess. But after setting this up, it performs decently, I guess. I have not tried the K-Bar or anything else yet, probably upgrade to something better next time, but this will do for now, I'm still, I'm still not a pro yet, uh, need, uh, there's still a lot of place for improvement. Also if you notice, there is this module here, this is actually the Walkera telemetry module, I, I don't, I'm not even sure if you can even get it now, this one was also donated to me, I can see I've wired up a few connectors. This one is to the battery and this one goes to tomocouples. This one here at the tail solo because the tail solo gets stupidly hot sometimes and so just to make sure that the solo don't die out of me. One of them goes to the battery as well just in case it overheats. Uh, let's go to the other side. I... And the other side. The other one goes to the ESC just, just to make sure it don't overheat as well. So that's the telemetry module. And also over at this side you can see that I changed the ESC. This one is I think I'm not too sure what model this is. This one was also donated to me. I think this is a hobby wing one, I think. Not sure. It runs cooler than the original one. The original Walkera ESC is quite well known to be hot. This one runs, I think, at least 15 degrees Celsius cooler than the Walkera ones. So yeah, if you have a 450D03, try and change the ESC. Performance-wise, I don't feel much difference, actually. As you can see, I'm still using the stock, the stock motor. And also, you can see this. This is a connector I bought from Banggood. It's a 3-wire three, three connector. It's called an MT, MT something. They say it's based on the XT60 connector, though. So you can see, very easy to disconnect. And then since this is one connector with three pins, once you've set it up correctly, you don't need to figure out which pin goes where or what, like the common bullet connectors. You know, sometimes you want to set up the helicopter, you have to remove, you have to disconnect the motor. With a bullet connector, you have to remove two wires. And if it's not color coded or if you are not careful when you put it back, it might be reversed. So yeah, this makes things much easier and also safer I guess this one can't remember how much this costs I'll try to put a link where you can get this 
it actually comes with a cover like this for both sides but on this one I kind of screwed up so yeah it doesn't string here if not it'll be both like it's supposed to look like this also what other modifications I've done ah yeah the battery battery cover battery co battery place battery holder you can see I I, I already mentioned in my previous video I I shifted the battery down here but the but it's not strong so I crashed once and the plastic broke so what I've done is I've reinforced it you can see what I've done there's a lot of a lot of glue a lot of hot glue this is a fiber reinforced plastic plates I think this one's from I used to play Tamiya mini four wheel drive I just it's just stolen from that. See here as well. Just to reinforce everything more. Because these batteries are 2200 milliamp hour. The original battery is 2006 or 2008, I think. So if you are using 2002 and you use the. you mount it at the stock location like this, I think. Or even if you mount it here. You need to move it a lot further front so that you can preserve. To maintain the helicopter center of gravity, so for now I just have to mount it like this. So try to imagine if I did not make this, make this reinforcement plate, make this reinforcement plate, how easy, how easy will it be to break it, which I had already broke before once. So yep, that's my battery positioning like this. Uh, get rid of this. Okay, moving on. Hmm, anything else? Nothing much. Let's change my blade. I think I broke two, three sets of blades since the last video. I think. Hmm. Ah, yeah. There's previously there's a blade here. I think we can get a sample. Yeah, previously this was there. And goes on like this, or something like this. But in order to maintain the center of gravity, I chopped it off to make the tail lighter. So now, the center of gravity plus with the canopy is perfectly level, I guess. I don't know what's the correct term for that. So you can see behind, I changed to a Walkera. Devo 10 transmitter. No more Devo 7. This one is much nicer. I also flash the deviation firmware. Yep. You can see I had 8 hours of flight time already so far. You can see that on the right side of the screen. Uh, oh yeah. Oops. This is supposed to be the telemetry information. Let me let me just hook up my helicopter. Disconnect the motor first. See how easy is it? See how easy is it to disconnect? I just do it one hand. Really love this. And this is another thing. Uh, the Dean connectors. Yep. Love it or hate it. Yeah, this one can't be done with like one hand. Oops. So let me just get this powered up. Uh, that'll do for now. Okay, helicopter's powered up. As you can see here, live telemetry data. So I programmed it. If it drops below a certain voltage, the alarm will go off. If uh, some of the temperatures go above a certain preset, it will also go off. I set it to I think 60 Celsius. Most electronics can survive above 60 Celsius anyway, so that shouldn't be a problem. And that's about it. Love my Devo 10. Ah, you can see now the servo's powered up. Can okay, try moving. Try moving the servo. Just have a look at the free play. Yep, there's the very slight free play, but still strong. Just a sick note. I think after two or three crash, then this will start to appear. So yep, that's a quick run through of my Wakera V450 D03. Hope you guys like it. 
Thank you and happy flying.